So how does CO2 find its way into water? Coming in the, in the top here is our water line, and in the side here is where our carbon dioxide comes. Normally, you can't see the moment when the fizz goes in. Here, inside the carbonator, pressurized carbon dioxide is forced into the water, and a unique reaction occurs between the water and the gas. Carbon dioxide is special because it dissolves in the water. You can get a lot more CO2 into a bottle like this one than you can nitrogen or oxygen, and that's because the CO2 is, is more soluble. By the time it's done, this water will have absorbed three times its own volume in carbon dioxide. That is a lot of gas. And the higher the pressure, the faster the gas dissolves into the water. The soda finally comes together at the bottling station, where the flavored syrup gets dispensed and mixed with the carbonated water under pressure. Then a capper seals it off and traps the CO2. When they get down here, the syrup and the carbonated water aren't mixed. So every bottle is going to be inverted three times. One, two, three. And then they're mixed to stay mixed. So that's what's happening over here. Now it's time to sit back and enjoy. Just don't shake things up. In the late 70s and early 80s, when video games came out, people became so creative, they would go and drill holes through their quarters, tie a little bit of fishing line in there, put it in until it hit the micro switch, pull it back out, get their quarter, get a free game.